Hey there! Here's a graph comprehension how-to video. Find out how to write good graph comprehension questions for students now. By the end of this video, you should be able to write effective comprehension questions on graphs for students. There are three levels of reading and comprehending graphs that teachers should be aware of. Reading the data, reading between the data, and reading beyond the data. The first level is reading the data. Create questions at this level by looking for apparent and obvious information in graphs. Use phrases like, what is the, or on which day. Remember that there are no mathematical operations required at this level. The second level is reading between the data. Keep in mind to see the relationships between pieces of data, ask questions which information are not obvious in the graph. Include phrases like, how many more than, or the total number. Remember to use mathematical operations at this level. The final level is reading beyond the data. In this level, your questions should focus on making future predictions about data. Ask questions which information is not explicitly stated in the graph. Use phrases like, why do you think, or what can you predict, when creating questions for this level. Moving on. Kurshio, being the founder of these three levels of graph comprehension, said that the purpose of introducing this concept is to make students realize that the maximum potential of the graph can only be seen when they are able to interpret and generalize data. He further added that a graph is a picture that speaks a thousand words. Therefore, students should not only see a few of these pointwise words, but also see the global and trend features of the graph. Now that you have understood the three levels of graph comprehension, let us take a look at an example. Let us begin with level 1, reading the data. Let's look at some questions. This bar graph shows the number of ice creams that were sold in a week. On which day was the most ice cream sold? On which day was the least ice cream sold? How many ice creams were sold on Wednesday? If you notice, all the answers to the questions are very obvious and could be taken directly just by looking at the graph. Next, we will be creating level 2 questions, reading between the data. How many more ice creams were sold on Sunday than Friday? What was the second most popular day for buying ice creams? What is the total number of ice creams sold in the week? If you notice, there is some kind of relationship between pieces of data in the questions. For example, the number of ice creams sold on Sunday than Friday. There are also mathematical operations involved here. Remember, if the total number is given in a table and is explicit, the question will fall under level 1. Hope you're doing great after the first two levels. Now, we will create questions for level 3, reading beyond the data. Why do you think the ice creams were most sold on the weekend? Why do you think there were fewer ice creams sold on Monday and Thursday? If you notice here, these questions are asking you to make an inference or a smart guess about the data. So, you will now have to use your background knowledge to help you interpret the information here. That brings us to the end of this video. Hey, let's do a quick recap. We are now aware of the three levels of graph comprehension. We learned about Kurshio, who was the founder of these three levels, and also the purpose of learning graph comprehension. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Created using Powtoon.